Hi, welcome to the self-learning series for control and workload automation products. My name is Lisa and I'm a technical support analyst for control and distributed systems. This is a series of self-learning videos that are designed to help you with your day-to-day -day tasks with control M. The title of today's video is control M agent install on iSeries using a binary file. Control M agent install on iSeries using a binary file. If you've never installed the agent before, you must use the ISO file install. You are not able to use binary because the D NDI load run is not installed until you've installed the agent one time. First thing we're talk about is downloading an ISO file from the BMC EPD site. Next, you need to get the binary install file from the ISO image. Then you're going to create a save file, and we're going to FTP to that save file in the iSeries. Then we're going to display the save file contents to be sure it has the contents in it. And we're going to move the file from QGPL to QTemp. From there, we can then delete the save file from QGPL, and then we can install the agent. First, we need to download the Control Agent for iSeries from the EPD site to a directory on a local machine that's able to FTP to your iSeries machine. Once you have the ISO file loaded on the PC, we need to open the ISO file. You can use daemon tools, WinZip, and we want to click on the bin directory. In that directory is a file called ncu7001. This is the binary file we're going to use to put in the save file on the iSeries. Extract this file. Let's create the save file on the iSeries. Here's an example of a command you can run on the iSeries to create the save file. Now we need to FTP the binary from your PC to the iSeries into the save file you created in step two. Here's an example of how to FTP that file. Once we've completed the FTP, let's go to the iSeries and check the save file does have content in it. Here's an example of how to display the save file. Now move the file from QGPL to QTemp. Here's the command to do this. We need to move it to QTemp because NDI load run will be looking for the file in QTemp. Now we can delete the file that we created in the save directory under QGPL. Run the following NDI load run command, pointing to the save file to install the control M agent. 